All right, we are back in the Marble Mountains doing another hike. At the Boulder Creek, we're going to Boulder Peak. Where are we at here? Um, oh, we're right here. We're going up to one of these lakes. It's a heat wave in California. It's supposed to be about 105 um, in the town that I'm at. So I'm gonna go out to the mountains. Hopefully it'll be cooler up there. It's Boulder Peak's actually the tallest peak in the Marble Mountains. I think like 8,000 feet or something like that. So it should be a bit cooler, but I know from experience this trail first three miles are pretty brutal straight uphill uh, not a whole lot of scenery until you get to the top I think you climb about 3,000 feet in the first three miles so it's gonna be hot I've got a 50 pound pack right now I'm gonna spend the night I think I overpacked but not looking forward to the first part of it but once we get up there it's worth it it's beautiful and uh, should be a good time, should be a lot cooler up there. All right, here we go. Let the journey begin. Soka's got the right idea. She found a nice little mud puddle to lay in. But yeah, I'm just gonna be taking it easy on this trail maybe. Taking it a mile at a time. It's hot, it's steep, and I'm overpacked, so don't wanna do anything too crazy. Man, I am beat. But we are starting to get some uh, scenery up here. Uh, but wow, I'm not even a mile in yet, and I am exhausted. I'm hot, uh, and just not looking forward to the rest of this climb. But the farther up I get, the more scenic it's gonna get, and the cooler it's gonna get. So I just gotta keep moving. I also found this nice walking stick here. It's helping out a little bit. Had a bit of a scare here. I don't want to get too close, but right in the middle of the trail um, is a rattlesnake. And I got about a foot away from him. It's not rattling. Uh, so I'm lucky my dog got around him without it, without it striking. Uh, but yeah, that's something to look out for. So We'll give that guy some space and uh, keep an eye out. That was close. <laughs> I've never seen a chipmunk, or whatever that is, um, that just sits there. And it kind of looked like he was limping as it was running away. So that could have been why the rattlesnake didn't strike or rattle. He could have just bit that chipmunk 
and now he's waiting um, for the for the venom to take effect. <laughs> kind of an interesting uh, situation to walk across. A little scary when you almost step on a rattlesnake, but you're uh, you're in his domain out here when you leave your your home behind and head out to the to the wilderness. So you gotta watch out. Now I'm being super paranoid. Every little stick I see, every shadow, I think is gonna be a snake. Uh, doesn't help that I'm exhausted and it's hot. Um, so I'm not really paying attention as much as I should. So it should be a good time to take a break, catch my breath. Ooh, all right. We're taking our first pit stop of the day. Went a little farther than expected. I've gone like a mile and a half and uh, we climbed about uh, just over a thousand feet of elevation and uh, I'm exhausted. This is a tough one, but taking a break here, it's taken me like an hour so far. Get a drink, maybe a little snack, and then keep on going. Still got another, at least a mile and a half of pretty brutal uphill. Um, not very scenic. I mean, there's trees and stuff, but uh, next mile and a half, still gonna be pretty tough. But then once I get up there, it's really neat. There's a cool waterfall and a nice meadow and a mountain peak. So it's gonna be worth it. About two and a half miles in, starting to get into uh, a little bit of scenery here. But we still got ways to climb. Getting a little cooler, but it's still hot. Got a minor obstacle here, which normally wouldn't be a problem, but in my borderline heat stroke state, it's tough. I guess I'm gonna put a nice stepping stool here, so that'll help. She makes it look easy. Plus side, nice scenic views. On the downside, this is the sunny section of the trail. So, not getting as much shade. All right, we're getting close to the top. I think I'm gonna take another pit stop here. Uh, but I've gone, I think this is about three miles, maybe like 2,500 feet. So we're getting up there. Thank you. 
made it to the top pretty much. Don't have too much farther to go, but getting really scenic. There's a waterfall over this ridge I'm going to try to get to. But it's flattened out. It's a lot easier hiking now, but I'm still pretty tired from that first climb. Yeah, we started pretty much at the bottom down there, the Scott River. The Scott River sits at the base of the mountain behind me, and uh, that's pretty much where we started. It gives you a perspective of uh, how high up we've come. waterfall up here. Let's see if I can find a way to get a better look at it. Try not to fall down the mountain. Waterfall, pretty scenic. Got a nice cool breeze right here. Oh man, feels great. A much needed break. We're almost there, but this is a perfect spot. shade right next to the water. Oh, I might just relax here a bit. All right. Um, the lake where I'm going to be camping is just right up over the hill. So I'm going to try to get up there and get my tent set up. Just got to cross this stream. Here it is, right behind me, that's Boulder Peak. The highest peak in the Marble Mountains. not really a trail to it that I could see so you kind of just got a freestyle I guess there's a couple other people camping over here I'll try to give them some space but I'm looking forward to taking this backpack off and just relaxing well after four hours and about 3,000 feet of elevation we finally made it to the lake. There's Boulder Peak right there. Here's the beautiful lake. I was gonna camp up here, um, but there's not a whole lot of good spots. It's pretty steep here. 
Uh, there's a flat spot back over that way, but there's a group of people camping. Uh, they got a dog too that was barking at my dog, so it's kind of hard to give them space. So I don't know, I might hike up. There's another lake, another half mile or so. I might hike up too. <laughs> I really don't feel like hiking anymore, but uh, might go up there and see if there's a better spot to camp or uh, maybe get around to the other side, give those other campers some space and get set up for the night. Ooh. I'm gonna take my backpack off. It feels very strange walking without a backpack on right now. But I'm trying to find a spot. There's people camping down over there. There's a nice flat spot. Um, but it's kind of close to some people. So I think I'm gonna set up something around here. I think this will work. Just excited to relax for a bit. All right, we got the camp set up. It's not the best spot. It's kind of rocky and not really flat, but uh, I got a cot, so I'm not too worried about sleeping on rocky ground. Ahsoka, she can make do. She'll sleep wherever, but uh, pretty scenic though. Just in time too. It's uh, sun's going down dark uh, it's almost beer 30 